and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about is copying other artists wrong or not? And I'm going to explain why copying other artists is ultimately a bad idea and I'm going to show you what you can do instead. So pause the video, grab a nice cup of tea or coffee and a snack and let's chat about painting. So first of all, um, let's let me take you back to almost 10 years ago now and I would be sat on the floor of my spare bedroom and I would be just sat stalking my favourite artists on Instagram in awe of them just surrounded by random paintings and art materials um, and I'd be so in love with the work that these other artists were creating and I'd just try and copy their style because I just loved what they were making and when I did copy their work it didn't quite look as good as theirs but it was much better than what I could do on my own and to be honest I really did want to create my own artwork but every time I did it um, just went wrong and the whole time I'd be painting I wouldn't be relaxed and enjoying it because I'd just hear that voice in my head that was telling me I'm going to screw it up or that I've already screwed it up or that I'm wasting paint and art materials and that people are going to laugh when they see my painting and I just had no confidence so basically I just have a, a weird bunch of random I wouldn't really call them artworks but paintings around me they're half finished and no particular style and they didn't even look like they were done by the same person I just had no confidence and Honestly, I felt like I, I didn't have the right to call myself an artist. You know, I'd kind of explain it by um, just saying, oh, well, I dabble in painting, I dabble in this. Um, but honestly, I will just leave the, the true artist term to the real painters um, that are artists out there and that, it, that I wasn't enough to be an artist. And I just kept trying to figure out a way that I could be like them, but in my own way. So if you're a beginner artist, um, maybe you're feeling like following tutorials or copying other artists is the best way to learn how to paint. And as a new painter, it can be really helpful to understand maybe the way a certain colour or a certain brush stroke has been applied. But the problem with that, it doesn't necessarily explain why you should be using that brush stroke or colour, it just tells you how to apply it. And so when you then eventually want to try and create something from your own um, imagination or your own ideas that you have to create something unique, you then may struggle to know how to actually put it together and, and where to actually start. And honestly this can just make new painters feel chained to copying others or then having to rely on them tutorials to paint whatever it is that they want to and just end up searching that on YouTube or, or Instagram or TikTok rather than actually creating their own unique artwork. And it's not necessarily that people always want to copy, it's just that um, sometimes you want that experience of true joy as you're painting. And that gets the best results when you're following tutorials and you just wanna feel relaxed as you're painting. But the thing is, is that true art is unique um, because it all begins with an idea and like the creative idea and the execution are two separate things in my mind anyway like when you copy or follow tutorials you're actually only doing one of those things which is the execution of the idea not the idea itself so now this isn't to call anyone out or to make you feel bad i'm definitely not about that um i just wanted to speak about this because there's a much better way and I love to share that way. And because we're all creative humans, like when you think about being a toddler, no doubt you are creative. But I think along the way, we can sometimes cut that part off where we dream ideas because to do that requires so much vulnerability from us. And honestly, vulnerability is scary. Um, perhaps we felt shamed by somebody about our artwork. Perhaps we remember a negative comment made about the work we've made. Or even just from ourselves, it doesn't always come from other people. Very often we can like shame ourselves about our artwork. So it can very often feel safer to follow in someone else's footsteps and follow a tutorial. But the thing um, with that is you will never actually end up finding your own style or creative, creating authentic artwork to begin um, building your, I don't know, dream career as an artist if that's what you're looking for, or just creating paintings that you love. But instead Instead you'll end up creating replicas of what's already out there in the world. Now I know that sounds harsh 
maybe it is a little bit harsh and um, but sometimes we do need that different perspective just to challenge our thoughts and and if you're happy carrying on in tutorials that's awesome I don't want to discourage you from doing that but I know that this video is going to get a couple different reactions I know that a lot of people watching this video might think how dare she say that like she's so wrong copying is the best way who does she think she is and that's okay if like that's what you feel like um, but if you're thinking you know what I know I have more to share with the world than just following someone else's footsteps and maybe you're thinking, yeah, I want to explore my own creativity and really see what's possible and have fun experimenting with my own ideas and bringing those ideas to life. Um, or if you want to discover a unique style and your voice as an artist, you know, maybe even selling your work and becoming a working professional artist. Because if I can, then you can too, because trust me, I'm nothing special and I very much rem remember that time that I hated everything I made because it sucked <laughs> but when you can really tap into your unique artistic voice and um, that's where the true creative fulfillment comes and um, being able to carve your own path as an artist like down a little journey that's never been trodden down before <laughs> and I know that sounds scary uh, because you might think you know where do I even start but that's where I love to help beginner artists because I have a free workshop that will guide you to exactly how you can start uh, trusting that inner voice and start painting your own unique artwork for in your own style um, and in, with your own ideas to really bring that true creative joy. So if that does sound like something that you would enjoy, um, it's a completely free workshop. I will pop the link in the description box. I'll also pop a link in the corner of this video somewhere that you can click on and go straight to it. And I call it workshop, but I feel like it's more like an experience that I wanna take you down. There's a little workbook that you can print off and fill out as well. And hopefully this is the next step in your journey as an artist. Artist, um, because I would love to be a part of that. I, I really clearly remember how frustrating it can be sometimes when you're trying to improve your work and you don't know how and you don't know what the best way is. But I've honestly discovered like this method that will help you improve in the fastest and easiest way possible with also a lot of enjoyment. So if you would like to download that free workshop, again, I'll pop the link in the description box. Just click that link and you can register there. Okay, that's all from me today, guys. And I hope you have a really beautiful, inspiring day, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Lots of love and see you soon. Bye.